What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have an absolutely insane shiny hunting exploit that is going to forever change the way we shiny hunt in all of Scarlet and Violet, from Paladia to Kitakami to the Indigo Disc. This new method is pretty insane. And we're gonna demonstrate this new method with shiny hunting meteor and of course guys like this type of content enjoy these videos please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it consider supporting the channel by joining the pan fam by hitting that join channel member button below so i want to give a shout out to the reddit user who found this out their names on the screen here but to describe this method it's gonna be fairly simple if you've been following the channel for a while now you know exactly how to do the best shiny hunts but there's now one additional step to it to make this process even easier so step one we're gonna go for meteor and you want to go to an area where you can easily isolate shiny hunt for it with either a rock type sandwich or a flying type sandwich and you also want to be able to see all 15 spawns of them at once a pretty fairly simple spot is the charge stone cavern area I'm going to be using a flying type sandwich in this area, but you can also use a rock type sandwich as well. Both are fine. And at this location here, you can see that we only get meteor spawning. I already set up my sandwich, but let's do the sandwich again. This is a pretty good spot right here. So one, I would always recommend saving your game before doing any one of these shiny hunts. Just in case you make a mistake, something bad happens. You'll be able to reload your game and have your urban mystica back. And also, because we are shiny hunting for Meteor, I will recommend having a Pokemon with Damp. It's the first Pokemon in your party. Uh, Damp makes it so Pokemon that you have Explosion and Self-Destruct can't actually use it. So Meteor has Explosion. This is how we actually dodge it blowing up on ourselves. So Golduck's a good option. You can use the uh, Horsey line, I believe, the Poliworld line. There's a bunch of other lines you could potentially use as well. So let's make our sandwich first thing. And we're going to set up a picnic, so... I'm just doing it right to the left of the Pokemon uh, stop right here. And I'm going to go for a flying type sandwich because that's a pretty easy sandwich for us to make. And for this flying type sandwich, I'm going to be using one prosciutto, one salty, and one sweet. You have a couple of other options with this, as you can see on the screen here. There you have it. Sparkling title and counter level three for flying type Pokemon and ready to begin this shiny hunt. Now, the exploit with this hunt is going to be a numbers game so as you know meteor has the same overworld shiny as a non-shiny because the shields hide the shiny but count the meteors on the screen right now so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and because we have 15 we know there is not going to be a shiny because for some reason this game counts a shiny pokemon as a different special spawn so if you count the pokemon and you get 16 that is mean you have a guaranteed shiny on the screen and i'm not sure how long this has actually been in the game for but this would have been incredibly helpful for a couple of the harder hunts once again we're going to keep on counting one two three four five six seven eight nine and eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we know there's going to be no shiny here so i can feel free to reset we're going to keep on resetting until we get to that magic 16. And then when we do that magic 16, we know that one of them is going to be the shiny Pokemon. So I have 16 spawns. And when you get 16 spawns, you're going to save your game immediately. Because you don't want them to despawn or anything like that. Just make sure you save your game so you at least protect all the spawns here on the map. So you can always reload. You'll be good to go. So as we said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 because we can't tell the shiny i'm just going to walk up an auto battle and the goal is to auto battle every single one until we eventually get the shiny so we're going to send them out and see right, so that one wasn't the shiny this is a little bit of a tricky part because you don't want to obviously despawn the shiny but this is why we can reload but we know we have a guaranteed shiny reload of course new pokemon will spawn in so th this can definitely be the tricky part. But try to knock out the ones that you knew spawned in before. So th we got this one. Try to knock out this one. And try not to go too far because you might despawn some of the other ones. To so make sure. I think this whole group over here are old ones. Let's. Oh. What are you doing? Come on, Golduck. 
Knock out these three dudes. All right, I think all these over here are the potential. He won't knock this one. Wait, he won't knock this one out. This is this might be the shiny. This seems to be the shiny, guys. Right here. Let's see if we got the shiny. And we got the shiny, and this exploit is absolutely crazy. I mean, that didn't take that much time at all. Like, let me check my sandwich on this. Because that was crazy. That took me about six minutes to actually get the shiny meteor here. That's absolutely crazy. This is a crazy exploit. Now, here's the big thing. This exploit doesn't just work on Meteor. It works on every single Pokemon that you can get 15 spawns of. Now, of course, if some Pokemon are easier to see shiny-wise, like, you can just do it on a visual basis. For Pokemon that are really hard to see shiny-wise, let's say, like, Solosis, that's a really good one to do this hunt on. But this is going to be a phenomenal method that works on any Pokemon in the game as long as you get a isolated 15 spawns of them. All right, and there we go. We caught our shiny Meteor. Now, the cool thing about Meteor is this is a Pokemon that has seven different colors. Now, if you are going for the shiny living decks, you don't necessarily need to get them all. But for the home living decks, yes, you're going to need to get all of these. And you can see we caught the yellow core. Now, all the Meteors that spawn in Charged Stone Cave are going to be the yellow core variants. So that's the yellow core one done for us. We have six others to do. Since we just caught the yellow one, which was fairly simple by going to Charge Stone Cavern, the next one's gonna be the orange one. And you can do that in the canyon biome as well. But this time we're gonna go in this mountain area over here. I think this is the easiest spot to do a 15 spawn reset. So if you wanna try to do it like over here, I would recommend doing a rock type sandwich. Uh, because with a flying type sandwich, you can see you get Scyther. So definitely do a rock type sandwich here. Our next core is the green core. And this one's a little bit tricky to do this method with. But the green core spawns over in the coastal biome. And if you are doing the 15 spawn uh, method reset, you can do it right on top of this cliff area over here. Uh, pretty much they spawn all over the biome. But if you do it on the mountainous parts, you'll be able to get your 15 spawns in this general spot. This is where we did Bulbasaur. So we have like eight up here and we have seven down here. So you're going to have to be looking up and down, but it works pretty well overall. Next up is the red core and the red core is going to be in the torch lift labyrinth. And you got to be inside of the actual labyrinth for them to spawn in. And I'm in the spot where we did the shiny hunt for uh, the mudkip exploit. Works fairly well. You get your 15 spawns here. If you feel like you need to walk up, you can walk up a little bit just to count and then walk right back out. And you can do a picnic reset right in this corner over here. So super easy on this one. Now for the blue core, and this one's fairly simple. I'm using a rock type sandwich and I'm just south of the polar plaza. You wanna be pretty much right here up on the wall and your two land markers is sort of in between these two pieces of like brown on the map. And you're gonna be looking over here. You're gonna see like the pillar in the back and you'll be able to get your 15 spawns of Meteor. This is gonna be a fairly easy picnic reset spawn. So hopefully you'll get your shiny fast and quick. Next is the Indigo core. And this begins the tragic cores that are very hard to do and the new method won't work on them. But the Indigo core is located in the coastal biome. And you just wanna be just north of this bridge on the water here. When you're just north of this bridge, you wanna go into this cave there's going to be a Terra Alolan Muck in here. And when you knock it out, you should be able to see at least a couple of Meteors. I only have one here, but this is going to be the only Indigo Core location in the game in this one cave, which is not great, as you can see. It's not great. You can do a Picnic Reset in here, but the main issue with the Picnic Reset is even for a Rock-type Sandwich or a Flying-type Sandwich, you're not going to be getting a lot of spawns or any spawns at all in here. So I got like one. But like you can see, it's not, this is not an ideal situation. You're not going to be getting your 15 spawns. So I would recommend doing this as an outbreak hunt. Now for the Violet Core Meteor. And this is definitely the hardest one. And the method won't work, but here's the general location for it. We're going to go to the Polar Outdoor Classroom 2. And you just want to fall from the classroom down to this little cave. And this is apparently the only cave it spawns in. I mean, you can also get an outbreak for these and I'll probably recommend the outbreak, but all the meteors in here are going to be the violet cores. Now you don't even get your full 15 spawns in here, which is a little bit depressing, 
It's not great, but you can picnic reset in here. You gotta just nail the spot here, sort of like right in front of the rocks over here. It can be a little bit tricky. You can do your picnic reset. There we go, we got our picnic reset. So you can reset here, but getting your spawns is gonna be a little bit tricky. So the new exploit method won't work on it, but I would recommend trying to get a mass outbreak and hoping to get the Violet Core an easy way, because yeah, you run outside to the sides here of this room, can't really get those meteors spawning in. You run over here, you don't really get your meteor spawning in either. So this one's a sort of a bust, but it's gonna probably be the hardest meteor form to hunt. But there we have it, guys. That is the brand new shiny hunting exploit location for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This will work for any hunt in the game as long as you have a spawn that will give you 15 and it's an isolated spawn. You should be good to go. And of course, guys, like my type of content, enjoy these videos. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.